Okay, I guess on my hair, she look all right. And with that actually sitting there like this creams, and I had to have them, sis. All fab on here. I just had, we're gonna discontinue it, but I had to pick up their book of shadows, honey. The color green makes she fan, expensive breeze, good time. Wise hole, serious? <laughs> You might as well get into it, honey, because they're going to want to know where you been, why you ain't been recording, what's been going on. And first off, I just want to say welcome back to the channel, you all. My name is Torrance, and I got some explaining to do because basically things are still going the same way they've been going. Um, I'm still working a ton of hours, like a ton of hours, and unfortunately... No, you can't even put the blame on nothing but yourself, honey. You swipe that card, not your job. Um, basically because I've been making a few extra dollars lately. I've been spending a few extra dollars lately and it's gotten to the point where I'm like, something got to go. My mother, she's doing a whole lot better, a whole lot better. She's eating, she's cooking, she's laughing, she's back to herself, but honey, Miss Rona gave us a runaround and um, she had my mother upset, which had me upset, but she's fully recovered. We're all happy and blessed to say so far, no one in my immediate family has caught COVID and passed away. So far, everyone has made a full recovery. So we're blessed to say that, but I know retail therapy is not the answer, but a lot of times it's my best guess. And when I ain't feeling good, spending a few coins usually it gives me something to do, keep my mind off of things. And unfortunately, it then got to a point where, once again, already, my collection is looking at me like, sis, where is we about to store this? You done bought it because you wanted it, but where is it gonna go? Because I'm not, we not making no more room. I'm not buying no more shelves, no more extenders, no nothing. Some stuff got to go. And I had to really sit back and look and think like, okay, Torrance, what's going on? How did we get here? So decided to clean up because it's Sunday. I'm recording this on the 16th. I'm gonna po probably post this on the 16th too, just to get y'all something going. Um, but I usually like to light a candle and baby, before we get in there, let me tell you about these candles. Everybody know about champagne toast, honey. This is the candle I even asked for for Christmas, so I absolutely love her. And I only try to burn her, you know, for a little while every now and then to help spread her out so I ain't got to buy too many. And as you can see, I got a rotation of candles going because besides the champagne toes from them, my other favorites, them Jade Naturals, baby, I'm telling you, they smell amazing. If you've never heard of Jade Naturals, they are a brand here in Michigan. They're an indie brand, black woman-owned brand, so you know that's something I support especially Juvia's Place being my favorite eyeshadows for y'all. Anything started by a black female easily going to get my attention at least a little bit, honey. <clears throat> but that's beside the point. The thing is, my lemon pound cake been my favorite since they launched. Lemon is my favorite fruit, so I've been sitting back like, mm -hmm. I've had, well, plenty of these, but this is probably like, I didn't have this one, I'm going to say about a month because it caught my attention that Torrance, you'd have had this for a month and you still ain't burned all the way through it yet. How? They done did a limited edition astro uh, astrology set. Baby, not only is you going to give me one that got my sign on it, Virgo. Team Virgo, honey. I ain't saying nothing against the other sign, but Virgos are the best, just in my opinion, honey. But it got the gold container. I love black and gold decorations, which is why I love supporting Pat McGrath so much. Another black female owned brand. But this one got a crystal in it too. I could have pulled it out last night because it finally got down to the point where I can get it all the way out. But I said, you know what? We're going to keep it in there and we're going to relight it again. And I realized, honey, I'm going to buy me a few more of those because I never thought pineapple on stage would have been for me. But that thing smelled amazing. And I'm telling y'all, I ain't going to just do like a whole giveaway or nothing. 
but leave your sign down in the comment section below and when i reorder me some of these if they got one of y'all signs left i'm gonna do a random giveaway and if we pick your sign honey we're gonna go ahead and get it if they got it in stock and ship that off to one of y'all but this new virgo one honey i know she limited edition but i'm about to be ordering about a good three four more because i'm gonna need those my lemon one she always in stock so i'm gonna be good but baby i never thought something would get me to burn it more often than champagne toast that new pineapple and sage by Jade Naturals. I'm going to make sure I leave that information down below, honey. Y'all got to check that out. But I was putting that down, and when I reached for that, I came across, where is she go? This right here. And I realized, Torrance, you have this just sitting here. This is the Nubian Mini by Julia's Place. And I'm like, why haven't you given this to somebody yet? What you going to do with it? You have... The original Nubian. Not only do I have the original Nubian, I have every single palette Juvia's Place has ever released. And the reason is, one, they're a black-owned brand. They were started up by a black woman. As someone who was raised by a black woman, I have nothing but love and respect for them. I, they might not be my cup of tea in my personal life, but I'm going to always love and support them out in the public. Thing is... I'm like, Torrance, if you already got the big one, why hold on to this? And I said, you know what? I was just talking to my coworker, Rebecca, and she was saying she had to toss out a palette that she had, and she needs something different. She got this. I'm not using it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And... It's a formula I know and love. I have all 12 of the original. So this miniature for six is something I can give someone else. It's something beautiful. And now it gives me a video idea because y'all know my very first tutorial was Juvia's Place. You can check that video out right here. Absolutely love the brand. I've collected every palette they had, including these two. Because baby, I don't know if y'all didn't check. They done launched two new sets. The Bronze Rustic. Of course I got it. And y'all know a tutorial coming on that. I still haven't used it because I want the first time I use it to be on channel with y'all. I mean, on camera with y'all. So we ain't went through her yet. The next one, that tan palettes that they had, they have some bronzer palettes. I got it in tan. I didn't buy all five because I'm like, Torrance, you don't need them. But the tan one, got it. <clears throat> then they came out with the blushed rose palette. Of course, I got it. So, y'all got a tutorial coming with that. And because y'all know one of my all-time favorite blushes is Serafina from Juvia's Place. Now that they got these, had to get both. I got both of the, what is they called? I think they just called Blush Volume 1 and 2. Those are six pants. Got this. get this and I'm like Torrance just that right there alone is enough makeup to play do videos and stuff for a week so you would think okay that would be enough you would be good but then I also realized got the email about the new Sigma ambiance palette I'm not sure if you've all seen it it's basically a warm neutral golden brown palette that's the easiest way to put it I mean put it but then I had to sit back and think like, Torrance, you ordered the new Sigma palette and never used the last Sigma palette you bought. This is the warm neutrals and she sits untouched. You know the reason why? Because it was a re-promote of their original warm neutrals. This one got 14 shades. This one has 12. All they did was add two more, put it in this package, and guess what my dumb I did? Buy it, even though I already knew and loved this one. But I wanted to see what the formula was like and things like that. But I'm like, Torrance, if you already had this and you hardly used it, why did you need the re-promote? Why not wait till this one went completely bad and then buy that one? But now that I realize you got two of the same palettes, this one's newer, this one has two additional shades, this one can go two. 
because the next time I go to try this, I'm gonna go for the newer one, but I still ain't used this one yet and I got something coming by them. And I started to realize the reason why I did that is because I got all of the 14 pan palettes that they have. All of the palettes that Sigma has put in this, I collected them all just like with Juvia's Place. And I started to look like, wait, once you like something by a brand, baby, you be treating them like Pokemon, like just got to catch them all. And we got to get over that. The completionist in me is going to have to stop. With certain brands like Juvia's Place, I don't mind because I love them. I actually use them when they come out. I haven't used these yet just because I ain't had time to sit down and record. But I'm like, I love them. Ooh, let me turn you off. Alarm. But it's like, I love them. You all love them. So, and I get use out of them. They're affordable. There's no problem with that. But when you're thinking of palettes that's like in the $40, $50 range, it's even higher, this starts to add up because which one do I have? I already showed y'all. I got the Warm Neutral that I've never used. I got the Ambiance coming, so of course I've never used that. This Untamed, I think I've used him one time, and if so, I think I may have even done a video on it. But I'm like, I love this color story, but you would think I would use it more often, and I don't. The Quarter Rosa is probably the one I've used the most, and I think this is my favorite one simply because when I very first used it, the brand retweeted me on Twitter, so I was like, ugh. I was feeling amazing that day. I was looking good. So this one to me is absolutely beautiful. And anytime I hear somebody else say they like the ABH by the Renaissance, this is the one I pull out instead because I think she's much prettier. The Enchanted palette, I remember I almost cracked because I couldn't even get her because to me, this is probably my color story more than any of them. I love dark colors. Matte blacks and greens are some of my favorites. But out of all of them, Honey, I use her, but probably not as often as I want to because I know this is going to be a very dark palette. And I'm someone who's usually out in the daytime, and so I usually try to go for lighter colors then. If this was the time where, you know, the world was open and popping and we could go to the club, honey, I think she really would get way more use. But recently, I haven't been using her. It's like, there's no need to collect those torrents. It's like, you don't use them as often as you need to. Just grab the ones that catch your attention. You don't have to support the brand each and every step of the way. Because, baby, let that DTE bill come up short one month. And they ain't about to be knocking on your door saying, can we put a little something on it? So, from now on, I'm going to have to start looking at these brands and being like, if I like the color story and the packaging and the price, and I have space because from now on, when I bring in one, I'm going to have to get rid of one because this is too much. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Another brand that got me, Ulma Beauty. Started off getting all of theirs because they had them at uh, Old Town Half Price. I already had, which one is this? See, I can't even find the names on these things. Oh, the Allure. Got her. And look, and the packaging because most of them ain't even been used. The Allure palette. I used her. I think I even did a video on this one too. If I did, I'll make sure I leave that linked above. But she's still on her sleeve, even though I've used her once. What is this? The Carnival palette. I don't think I've ever used her. Nope. Beautiful. My type of colors. Never used her. Which one is this? The Poise. The one everybody keeps telling me to try. Everyone tells me this is their favorite one, and I'm like, she looks like a beautiful everyday palette. That pop of blue right there. Which one is this? The Savage palette. Just the name make me want to go ahead and try. I think I swatched two shades with my finger, that blue and that black. Never used her either. But... Because I had these for I couldn't just let that be. I couldn't just let that go and pass and be gone. I'm like, Torrance, you already got a thing. What are these? The 10 pan palettes? Didn't I just show y'all phone? can't remember that much. Yeah, these are the 10 pan palettes. I'm like, Torrance, you got the first four. You got to keep it up. You got to. It's just only right to come into America one. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I still ain't even had time to sit down and watch the movie yet, but I had to have this one. Just had to. 
And because y'all sitting here with me, let's go ahead and open her, baby. Look, she got the little sticker on the back. Go through. I mean, they just came all out. I don't even want to rip that off, so we're going to fold this part out. Take it from here. Okay. Come through, Huma. Oh, she's pretty. I've never looked in Royal Heritage. Honey, she's a nice pinky little dream. Look at that. I don't even feel bad no more. She's stunning. This look like a nice soft romantic palette, honey. Giving me um tart juicy vibes. Okay. Well, see, I was just about to talk crap about how you ain't seen the movie, you ain't played with the palette, but you bought it just to be a completionist, but I think I'm going to have to eat crow on that one because, honey, she's a little cute. Uh, we might use that before the poise palette. But um, with the next one, we're going to go ahead and tell ourselves for real, if you're not truly in love and you're ready to use and, you know, get it going, love the color story, we ain't gonna just be buying it just to have it because I promise y'all, I didn't get the other two just because they wasn't 10 pan palettes, but you know the brand did come out with two other palettes for coming to America. But I'm like, Torrance, you just buy stuff just to have the completionist and you, you know, happy. And when I think about it, that's exactly what happened here. I ain't never, ever, never tried a single palette from this brand. And guess what? Got them all. Yep, my dumb ass done bought every single palette she done released and they never tried one of them. So guess what? I could probably try one and absolutely hate it and I realize I'm what? True, six palettes in and don't know what I'm in for. Dominique Cosmetics, the Latte palette. I've heard nothing but good things about this one. So I had to have her, especially when Sephora put her on half price. Half, baby. I was swiping so fast I had to have it. So that's probably gonna be the first one I try. Then, berries and cream. Half. She, be she beautiful. She pretty. The packaging, the color story. But for all I know, I could have eye irritation. I could just hate the formula. I could just probably hate the final look. Lord knows. But I got it. Celestial Storm. Now this is my kind of color story, baby. She is some jewel tone dreams going on. I still got that plastic right there. Let you know she ain't been used. Baby, if you don't quit acting up, look at how pretty that is. But I couldn't tell you nothing about this formula to know if it's worth buying or keeping or nothing like that. Because once I had one of them on the discount, I had to get them all because it, that price might not come back around, honey. Then I think they were like half off and during the Sephora root sale. Oh, 20% on. Oh, yes, ma'am. What's this? A rustic glam? I just like the name and the packaging of this. I had no idea what the color story was going to be like. But when you get inside and you realize how orange this is, it's like Taurus, you don't even like oranges. I'm like, but he got greens. Had to have it. Don't know what she like, but I got her. And it's like Torrance. You gonna have to put a stop to this. But Mother's Day was coming around. My mama was recently sick. I'm feeling myself. They put out a coupon code. Something about mom or something like that. So I got these last two that I did not have straight from the Dominique Cosmetics website for Mother's Day. Oh yeah, and anybody tell you, I buy myself gifts for Mother's Day too, honey, because I feel as if she didn't become one until I got here. So she get gifts and so do I. Latte 2 palette, 25% off. And y'all know, I don't like pastel shades. So why would I buy a palette with a pastel green? I don't like that color. But because... I didn't have them all and it was going to be on sale and it's the big, best price I've seen so far. I had to have them. Just wasting money. Now, the transition palette, I ain't going to lie to y'all. Now, this is the one I did. Oh, I ain't going to lie to you, sis. 
Everybody I know been saying this is gonna be good. This was good. And the one thing everybody been bragging about is how you can use these colors all over the face. They're like, we understand it was marketed as an eyeshadow, but the pros are saying you could use this as a brow palette, as a contour palette, as a blush palette. They like this as an all over face palette. This is not just an eye palette. And honey, seeing her in person, I, I get it. She's stunning. To me personally, for my home use, this will work. I would have personally preferred just slightly larger pans. But I mean, I guess it's, I can't just dip my whole, you know, contour brush in there. At one time I could just, you know, dip and dabble. But I get it. But this thing here, yeah. I think if you don't get nothing else from the brand, this and the original Latte palette just off looks alone look like they would be your best options. But I'm telling you. I think this may become her new bestseller because it is a big, beautiful matte palette and it just has colors for everything. It's just so pretty and so sophisticated. And although I'm not the biggest fan of all mattes just because I like a pop and shimmer, she gorgeous. And I can't wait to use her, but the problem is it's like Torrance. How did you get this far in where you even got this palette when you had so many else, I mean, so many other things from her that you had never even tried. And so I'm putting it out there right here and right now. Dominique better not come out with nothing else and she got that little small six pan. It's like a little plastic one. I don't know what it is, but it's gorgeous. Y'all better make sure I don't buy I don't get it. I don't do nothing with it until I know what these are like. And it's like, Torrance, I can understand, you know, you collecting them all from everything from brands that you truly know and love, like with Juvia's Place or like certain items or whatever, like say like with ABH. I didn't bought all of theirs since I think either Modern Renaissance or this palette here, the Master Palette by Mario. But the thing is, like with Juvia's Place, I actually use them. I use my ABH palettes. I rotate through those so I know what the formula is like. But with brands like these, it's like, honey, you use your Sigma brushes way more than you use your uh, Sigma eyeshadow palettes. So why not go ahead and put more money towards those? With Dominique Cosmetics, honey, I ain't never used them, but hey, baby girl that made bank off my dang old pockets considering I done bought them all. Juvia's Place, mm. y'all gonna, we ain't, they ain't a part of this. Oh, my beauty, we're going to have to use y'all a little bit more. We ain't going to be able to let that limited edition get to you or whatever. And another brand, because baby, I know for sure, Viseart makes my favorite mats. But for the longest, I have not done a Viseart, you know, collections video because it's been this one palette I've been looking for and I've been so upset I could not find it. It's called the Rose Edit. I got this palette here that I custom made with all of their edit palettes and the one I don't have is the Rose Edit. I think this is the Warm Edit and the April Spritz. I forget what these two is called. But this one here was supposed to be my favorite one. It was the first one I bought and it's the most colorful one and I want to take it out but I could not because I'm like it's perfect to have these four here because they fit here. It doesn't make sense to put that colorful one in its own uh, custom one here and you're going to have that gap sitting there. But I kept telling myself, one day I'm going to find that Rose Edit palette and baby, when I tell you it's on the way now, I am so happy. But it's like, sis, even with these, you don't have to collect them all to enjoy your collection. You have so many products from that brand that you absolutely love that you don't have to feel as if you're missing out on something because you don't have the one particular palette that came out. I was good with not having it till I found out it existed and then all of a sudden it's like, excuse me? What do you mean it sold out? I want it though. I have to have it. I didn't. And I've been in my feelings for months over it and it's just the same thing like with this. The Theory Palace. I was so hurt that they got rid of the Theory Palace, but it's like Torrance. You got them though. 
it's okay if they discontinue something you already got in your collection, honey. But because I'm someone who just may want to repurchase it in the future, I got to have it. And that's why I love the fact that they start doing these here. The Attendu palettes. Because that same theory palette that I like in the middle, those shades appear right here. These six right here in the middle are the same six that are right here on the left hand side. So it's like, okay, it may not be a big individual palette, but you still have those colors in a smaller palette. So you good, honey. What you mad for? But even though Vizier make my favorites, honey, and I ain't showed them off to y'all, I promise y'all that's another video I'm gonna get coming up soon. And I just had to record this and put it out there that baby, you can love a brand and not pick up everything. You have certain products from brands that were like considered holy grails. People would never sell, trade, never get rid of. Like with this palette, there is no way nobody could ever convince me there's no price for it because it's something that's not for sale. The sentimental value for it, no matter how much I sold it for, would keep me up at night that I gave this particular one away. If I found a second one, I could sell that no problem. This particular one here is mine, honey, and you can't have it. And it's like, yeah, you collect all of ABH palettes, but you use all of them. When I think of another brand like Tom Ford, I love the Gold and Mink palette, the Zero One, the original one. She's gorgeous, honey. No, not the Gold and Mink. I grabbed the wrong palette. See, sis, moving too fast. It's Coco Mirage. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Here she go, right here. Number three, Coco Mirage. Honey, look at her. Basic and matte. But when I tell you, I ain't never used her and got a bad look. And to me, she leans much more neutral cool than neutral warm like most palettes were. So it was something different for my collection. Absolutely fabulous. You think I collect every single palette time for it to put out for this thing? One, the price. I mean, technically, could I get my card to swipe and go approve? Yeah. Um, is my waistline going to be happy when I'm hungry after that? Not really. But I'm like, you have certain ones that you saw, you thought were beautiful, and you collected those, and you feel nothing wrong. You don't feel bad when this certain one goes out or comes out of stock and this one is no longer being made because the ones I wanted, I grabbed. And it's like, why can't you do that with these brands? And I'm not sure why, but baby, now that I done pinpointed, we bad all like that, it got to go. Because another brand, absolutely love their formulas. I buy their complete palettes. I make my own custom palettes from them. You all can check that video out right here. Makeup Geek. Anybody like me who got that Manny MUA palette, absolutely love this thing. And for years, for years, this was the palette I used when I went to the club or on my birthday because I loved it that much. Wore it last year for my birthday because it's still amazing. You think I'd have purchased every single thing Makeup Geek that came out with? Sometimes you just come out with things that I just don't want. So I'm just not going to buy it. So from now on, we putting it hot. The completionist and me, she over. The only brands I'm looking over at that we're going to say we're going to be completionists is Juvia's Place. Simply because they make amazing stuff. I use it all. I love it all. You all love it all. So we're going to buy those for y'all. That's what we're going to say. <laughs> Pat McGrath. Love them. Use them. Favorite luxury brand. She got to get it. We not going to stop. But... Things like ABH, I used to just buy it all just to say I buy it all and I use it all. But we might be saying, you know what, if we don't truly like the color story on them, they might be getting it too. Um, what's another brand? Color Rain, we buying it all, we keeping it all, you not telling me nothing. The Lip Bar, buying it all, getting it all, keeping it all, you not telling me nothing. Mel Cosmetics. They might be on the chopping block too, because I just looked over and realized 
I ain't never used the Vita, the Muerte, the Millennial Pinks, the Rust, the 420, or the Mary Jane, or either of the Beetlejuice palettes, or the Impulse palette, or the Blueprint palette, because any of those palettes I have in stack form, I use the stacks instead because they're, that's the original way. So it takes me back and I use that. So from now on, if they re-promote a stack to a palette, we not getting that either. And we've been talking for a while, sis, and I think my camera about to cut off. So I guess with nothing else, I hope you all remember to practice, continue to stay blessed. And until next time, goodbye, you two. And please do not be like me and waste your money and just buy everything, honey. Buy what you like, buy what you gonna use.